no, no, no. Simon would go mental if he knew Emma's love in life today. Hello, hello. It's a Monday, 4th of September. It's the start of another week. And today we are going to Bista Village to go shopping. Woohoo! Right, I am all ready for our day out in Bista. This is what I'm wearing. So, got my Czech Anina Bing blazer. This is the frayed hem light knitted sweater from my Zara haul. Necklaces, uh, usuals, no heavy puzzle bag and these are super old jeans from H&M and they've got like frayed bits at the bottom but they've got no rips on them granted they need a bit of an iron but ah but yeah I haven't worn them in ages and then I just found them over the weekend and I was like I love these jeans uh, anyway also Gucci loafers I really wanted to wear my tan suede Todd's boots but Simon said it looks like it might rain outside and I don't want to get them ruined but they would have gone so nice with Judith. You see, Gucci, this is why you need to make those in tan, okay? What are you wearing? Jeans and jumper. I can't I don't see. Know, fashion faux pas, wearing the same jumper two days in a row. I'm wearing the same blazer two days in a row. Oh. I wear this blazer every day. True. This is an alright outfit. So, what have you got on? Sun are on. See, I can sneakers. Dress all right when you don't make me put stupid shorts on. I do not make you wear those shorts. Oh, it's your nice jumper that I bought you yeah. from Hackett. Yeah. What is that made of? Lamb's wool or something? Yeah, Italian yarn. Oh, Italian yarn. You're posh. And then who are the jeans? Ralph. Ra Ralph. You're on first name terms now, are you? Yeah. That's a bit too close, but okay. But you regret that massively, don't you? No, I feel good. Really? Yeah. I don't think you anticipated how big those stairs were though, did you? <laughs> <laughs> right, we've arrived in Vista Village. Very excited. Now, I'm here today with Vista Village because I'm working on a post around wardrobe staples, which as you guys know, is a big, big thing for me. So today I'm gonna find five wardrobe staples from Vista and I'm just gonna take you guys with me. Let's go. Right, so we've been in a couple of stores already and I've decided that what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some recon first. I'm gonna go scout some things out and then I'm gonna go back and try on the bits that I like. Okay. Isn't that just your excuse to go in the shops twice? Maybe. <laughs> so I am now in Sandro and I'm looking for my first staple piece and obviously it's got to be a blazer. Right, so this is the first one. I don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of like a slight waffle effect. It's a really nice cut. It's nice and long. Double breasted slightly. I like the fact that it's got a bit of texture. It's not completely plain. All right, guys, I'm in Levi's now, obviously. Another wardrobe staple of mine is denim. And these are the wedgie jeans. Love this sort of frayed detail at the bottom. Right, we're all done. I've got my five wardrobe staples. So I'll show you guys exactly what I picked up when we go home. Now we're going to head off for the train. I think we've done that in just under three hours, so that's not bad shopping really. So we've just got home. I'm just putting all my goodies in a pile. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I bought in a minute. Oh! Hello! Hello! Hi! They're not for you, Bumblebee. These are mine. You can go and get your own things from Bista, and you. <laughs> now that we are home, I'm gonna show you what is inside the bags. So first off, we're gonna have a look and see what's in this mulberry bag. Ah, dyed Coke. <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> Let's get this out. Are you guys excited? Yes, oh my goodness. So as you can see, it's rather large. You girls are very excited about this, aren't you? Let's see if I can undo this with one hand. Yep, you're not making it easy for me, are you? Right, so here she is. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. So this is the bag that I picked up. And as you can see, it has straps here and then also on the side. So you can kind of 
like on some of the Celine bags, do like straps that way or straps that way. Anyway, it's a giant tote bag, which I think I'm probably gonna use a lot for traveling. It's one of those bags which you can just stick all your life in. Let's have a look inside and see what we've got. I just love that like croc embossed effect. And then you've got the little mulberry logo on the front there. So this is the closure. It's like a little uh, climber's hook and a ring. I'm doing this so good to be one handed. Uh, right inside, I did not know it had that, but it's got a little pouch. Handy dandy. I love it. I just thought it was handy bag and I love the gold hardware. Loved like the straps and this was a bargain if I do say so myself. This was £395. Next up is my Prada bag and obviously you can tell what this is going to be. For anyone that ever says you cannot get classics at Vista, hello, you are wrong. Basically, you are just incorrect because that right there is a very classic black suede ankle boot with an everyday heel and that, my friends, is awesome. They were £345, which I think is pretty good for a pair of Prada ankle boots. Prada, guys. Oh my god. Now it just so happens that they go perfectly with my outfit that I have got on. They are just, oh my gosh, they're just amazing. Look at them. Like seriously guys, you cannot get more of a wardrobe staple than a pair of black ankle boots like this. Oh my god, I mean look at this outfit. Look at it. Yes way. I just want to go out on the street right now just because I feel like I've got a strong outfit on. Emma's loving life today. Right, so that was Prada and Mulberry. Let's move on to Sandro. I'm gonna get dog hair all over that now. I've just put it on the bed, massive regret. Right, so this is the blazer which stole the show in Sandro today. It has like a pinstripe on it, but it's a black pinstripe, so it's almost like within the fabric. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining that. But it is such a beautiful blazer. I just love the way it hangs. Like, look at that drape. Yes, everything I could want from a blazer. Absolute wardrobe staple. 100% a black blazer. Every girl, in fact, should have a black blazer. Right, now onto my final bag. And I went into Levi's looking specifically for jeans, which whoop, I managed to get. But I also got one surprise other thing, which I couldn't believe that I found in Levi's of all places. So this, guys, is my fourth and fifth wardrobe staples. So this is my surprise item, and it is a silk shirt, and it is so soft like i can't even tell you how soft it is oh my gosh it is so amazing a hundred percent silk like where did that come from in levi's i don't get it i don't get it but i am very thankful for it because it's awesome so these are the 501 ct jeans on they're really nice on the bum although that angle is so not good they're awesome they're a wardrobe staple. A 501 CT is an absolute classic. Classic. It is now Tuesday morning and I'm just nipping out in the garden to give my new Pradas a, ooh, what's that? <laughs> Dog hair, obviously. Uh, new Pradas a bit of a spray with some protection spray. Okay, so this is the stuff that I use. It's by Dasco. So I'm just gonna give these new Prada boots a spray so that they're ready. All done. Just going to leave them to dry for like five minutes then I'm going to put them on. And today is also a very special day because Bean! It's your birthday today isn't it Bean? Yeah! You're 12! Bean is 12! So Last week I got him his birthday cake, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. We're going to do this later because I've obviously got to go out to a meeting right now. 
So this is the cake. Oh no, one of the bones has come off. So it's all trimmed in like little bones and then it's got icing on the top with these paw prints, which are not the best. I might rearrange those. And I'm not sure what the inside is like, but it's made from carob. Um, so it's doggy friendly, obviously. And then it comes with this little squeezy thing so you can write their name on it. And a little candle. So we're gonna do that later. Shh, Boris, don't tell Bean, okay? It's a surprise. Oh, Bean, go away. <laughs> so as I just mentioned, I'm off out to a meeting. And look what I'm wearing. <laughs> it is obviously the sign of a productive shopping trip if you get the whole outfit on the day after. This look, literally got my entire outfit on that I bought from Bista yesterday. So yeah, very good. Off we go, because I'm late as always. Not very even, is it? No, but they don't give you a lot of room and I started off with a really big B. I'm gonna do a... Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? <laughs> Your birthday. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. How pleased are you with yourself? Very. Almost as pleased as if I'd actually made that. <laughs> Happy birthday, little Beanie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that was so out of tune. <laughs> right, Mummy will blow the candle because you don't have any lips. just so that Bean can lick it first. That's hot wax. Okay. What is that Bean? Go touch it. Bean. No. Oh yes. This is a birthday cake for Bean. Bumble. No. Let Bean see it. Is that a lick it? Go to lick it. Okay, Bumble has demolished this side. <laughs> Bella has licked off the bee, so you're now in. <laughs> it's just all going to pot. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, you're ruining it. So many crumbs, Bo. Just going to leave all that there, Bo, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, beanie. Yeah, no, Bo. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna cut the cake so that they can each have a little slice. Oh, that's tough. Oh God, what a mess. Well, this is gonna be fun to clean up. Right, so this is how that went. <laughs> Come on then, who's having some cake? Come on, birthday boy. There you go, Baba. Yeah, birthday cake. No? <laughs> That's it, everybody's got the same. That's good, Bumbo. You're moving that plate all along the floor. Bo? No. Wow, Beanie, what a clean plate. Uh, excuse me, Bumbo. Hey, no, that's the one plate you're not allowed. Right, guys, it is Thursday and it's now 20 to 1. And I have just finished filming my accessories video. So this is the carnage <laughs> that I'm left with. And because of all this, I have now come to the conclusion with all these new blazers that I definitely need to do my autumn winter wardrobe changeover. So I'm going to head off to go and buy some more storage tubs and I'm going to film for you guys how I do my autumn winter changeover. Don't come into my lane. Mine. Ah, people aggravate me on the road. So yeah, that's the plan of action for this afternoon. Fun times. It's pissing it down as well, so wet weather program. Right, I've managed to get myself some tubs. They only had four, so I've got four of those big tubs. Slightly annoyed that the lids are blue. I'd rather have had black, but never mind. Now what I'm going to quickly do is just tidy this up and then we can get to the important bit, the switcheroo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this side which is the side that has my dresses here. Now we've already got some knitwear in here 
and also some coats down there but I'm gonna go through the whole wardrobe and I'm actually gonna have um, I was gonna say a huge clear out I'm not sure how big of a clear out this is gonna be but I'm definitely gonna detox a lot of things so I know for definite that all of the dresses and jumpsuits are gonna come out and they're gonna go into storage boxes so that's all of these hangers so I'm gonna start taking them out and I'm just gonna make a pile on the bed if there's anything in there i'm not going to keep i'm going to put that in a separate pile but otherwise dresses and jumpsuits and all this super summery stuff is going to start to go in one of the tubs all right so i've now got this tub full of my summer dresses and jumpsuits i've still got a little bit of space in there so i think i'm going to keep this one open for a minute just so that i can pop some summer tops in there which i know will definitely squeeze in that top bit now what i'm going to do this is all my lounge wear by the way i like to just have that hung up there so that i can grab it and now i'm just going to go through all this knitwear and these coats here just to make sure that they can all stay and that nothing needs to be de detoxed right so I've detoxed a couple of things but otherwise this is looking quite good what I am going to do is just take out some of my summer bags because I'm obviously not going to wear those now they may go back in at the end but I'm just going to see if maybe it's better if I take them out and try and store them somewhere else time to say goodbye to this very sorry looking Balenciaga bag this was my first ever designer handbag and it is literally falling to pieces so time for that one to go but I do want to replace that one with one of the new styles with the gold hardware on so that's going to be added to my must buy list. Now in the office this is the other wardrobe and I've actually got some of my other winter coats here so I'm going to take these there's that Zara one from last year I'm going to take these and start to put them back in my wardrobe and then go through that again in a minute and then this is all in colour order so the black ones go there and then we can move all that along looking good right i've had a huge detox of all the coats that were in my depop cupboard and as it turns out these are actually all gonna be depop all of that guys gonna be going on depop right so this side is pretty much done you might notice my bags had a rejig and actually i just did that the other day i detoxed a couple that i was sort of deliberating on whether or not to keep so i have put those in the office ready to list for vestiaire uh, or depop um so i just have a little bit of loungewear here which is what i tend to wear just around the house then i've got some knitwear here those are all mainly chunky oversized cardigans and then here there are quite a few light jackets. Oh my God, and I forgot. What I've never shown you guys is what's up in these cupboards. Oh my days, the unorganization. <laughs> so we've got a duvet in there, loads and loads of hats, including, oh my God, I so forgot I had this. Look, this is my hat. <laughs> Simon would go mental if he knew I just had my hat shoved up there, but yeah. This is my Toronto Blue Jays hat. I did not go for the flat capped version. I went for the proper baseball cap because I'm not cool enough to carry off the other one. And yet I'm aware of it. Someone else is not. <laughs> I found another one. <laughs> This one was from when we went to see the Chicago White Sox, which was our very first ever baseball game. And yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of it because obviously that's quite sentimental. I'll probably never wear it again unless we go to Chicago again. Um, but yeah, that's hat number two. I feel like I've got a collection coming on now. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take down my summer bags from this side of the wardrobe. And that clears all these hooks for some other things. And I'm also going to put those hats into storage as well. So bye bye to the baskets. Bye for another six months. And off those go. Now I'm going to make a start on this side. So I think what I'm going to do first. Oh, I don't even want to attempt that. I think what I'm going to do is just start and go through my tops and then through my blazers. Although it's very unlikely I'll be getting rid of any of those. Right, I've just finished this section. So as you can see, my blazers have gone whoop. My tops and t-shirts are tiny. 
and then I've had a big detox of jeans. Now I'm gonna have a little belt detox because I only wear about two of those belts. <laughs> right, belts detoxed. Now on for this cupboard, which like that one, is probably a mess. And this is where I've kept all of my knitwear. Oh, look at it all. Right, I've now moved on to the shoe wall. So I've detoxed the shoe wall of all sandals and summery shoes. And then I've dug out all of my Stuart Weitzman boots, which are gonna go on the shoe wall. Right, I'm not gonna lie, but I think that I've had a pretty triumphant day, despite the giant pile that is currently placed where I sleep. Uh, so, never mind that for a minute. Let me just show you what I have done in the spare bedroom. So as you can see, this closet is exactly the same as the one in our bedroom and all Simon's stuff is in here. I'm gonna open it up. Please excuse the non-painted doors. We obviously just couldn't be bothered with his closet. But there's his stuff. Look at all his Burberry suits, <laughs> bless him. Um, and it's all rather crammed in there. And then this cupboard you might have seen a couple of vlogs ago was my Depop cupboard. And now look at it. Oh. Okay, my back is now killing me, so I'm gonna stop for the night. Right, it is now Saturday. It's actually halfway through the day, but I've been finishing off doing the wardrobe changeover thing, so I'm gonna just show you guys where I'm up to now. Fully finished, excuse this, it's bedding changeover day. Right, so these are all the bags, which are charity shop bags. This is where I moved my summer bags there, summer clothes in there, and the hats on the top. This is actually current, but I like to keep my knitwear in an airlock tub so that moths can't get to it. And then if we just have a look in the office. So I showed you yesterday that was Simon's cupboard. This is the other cupboard, which was formerly the Depop cupboard. And it kind of still is because I've just put the piles of the Depop clothes in there. But I'm hoping I can get rid of those in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, how do you feel that this is now yours? Yeah, good. Yeah, good? Yeah. No more tiger shorts though, yeah? <sighs> okay, I've just finished my evening beauty routine. And I'm off to bed, so I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm ending this weekly vlog a day early because we're going away next week. So we need an extra day for editing. Um, but while I'm on the topic of skincare, don't forget to check back on the channel this Sunday because I have a full video dedicated to my daily skincare routine. So morning, day, night, the whole shebang. And I will see you guys then.